Product rules are a great way to ensure that technically valid configurations are created. Since product rules are comprised of conditions and corresponding actions, Salesforce CPQ makes it easier than ever to implement your business's unique rules during the quoting process. There are several product rules that come with Salesforce CPQ. The three most popular are validation, alert, and selection rules. The first type of product rule is a validation. If a sales user creates a configuration that is not technically valid, a message will appear in red, forcing the user to make the proper adjustments in order to clear the error before they can proceed with their quote. The next type of product rule is an alert. Unlike validations, where the user is unable to move forward until the error is cleared, alerts act more like suggestions, allowing the user to decide for themselves how they would like to proceed. The third type of product rule is a selection. After choosing a product, selection rules present the user with other relevant product options while filtering out options which are not relevant. Here are four easy steps to set up product rules with Salesforce CPQ. First, create a new product rule. Navigate to the product rules object, click new, and give your rule a name. Begin by configuring your conditions met. All ensures that all conditions defined are met, any allows the rule to fire if any of the conditions are met, and custom allows for advanced logic such as if condition 1 and 2 or 3 is true, trigger the action. The type field allows you to choose the type of product rule you'd like to create, such as validation, selection, alert, or filter. For today's example, we will choose selection, which allows you to show or hide products during configuration. Then click Activate to view the completed selection rule. With the new rule created, it's time to define the conditions under which this rule should fire. There are a few options to setting up conditions. You can choose the object and associated field, a configuration attribute, or a summary variable. In this example, a summary variable is simply going to count the total quantity of the threat intelligence. Next, we will set the operator to greater than, the filter type to value, and the filter value to zero. The condition now reads, if the count of threat intelligence is greater than zero, fire this rule. Now that the conditions are set, it's time to create the product actions. By expanding the type pick list, you can see a plethora of actions that can be performed. In this example, you will choose to show the products for the sales rep to upsell. After selecting your desired type, choose the product you wish to target. You can choose any product that is part of the bundle. And finally, set the configuration rule. The configuration rule lets the system know which products to allow the rule to run on, such as parent level. By allowing you to create new product rules, set their conditions, actions, and configuration rules, Salesforce CPQ makes it easy to ensure that your quotes will be technically valid every single time. To find out more, visit us online.